In today's video, gents, we're talking about how to discover your personal style in three easy steps. So pretty much every day, I get about 20 to 30 emails from men all over the world who are trying to figure out their own personal style. And these guys are coming from all walks of life. We've got oil and gas guys coming out of Texas. I've got blue collar workers out of California, consultants off the East Coast. We've got bankers out of Mumbai. I've had people from Moscow, Kiev, all over the world, reaching out and saying, Antonio, how do I figure this out? So to make this easy to illustrate and understand, gents, let me introduce you to the personal style circle. In a nutshell, we've got concentric circles here that consist of style motivation, style strategy, and style tactics. Now, don't be deceived by how simple this thing looks. In my opinion, the vast majority of men out there have not even come close to mastering these three parts of the style circle. Let me explain. The first mistake is that guys are going about the order of this all wrong. They're starting off with the tactics or maybe the strategy. They're thinking, okay, I want to dress sharp, so I'm going to wear a suit and look good. Right? Wrong. Gents, the way it works is you've got to start with the style motivation. If you don't have this, nothing else matters. Because this is what happens, gents. A lot of guys out there, they think, okay, if I want to look good, I need to wear a particular piece of clothing. Let's use the suit as the example. Here's the thing. If you don't know why, that you're actually wearing that suit. And if you don't have deep motivation for why you want to look good and in particular wear that suit, guess what? Basically, you're wearing a costume, not a piece of armor that can help you get what you want out of life. What is your motivation? What is your deep down reason for caring about style? And usually it's not because I'm not talking to dandies. Those guys are cool, but most of you are getting dressed, are wanting to look sharp, are wanting to improve your image because you want to get the girl, because you want to earn more money because you want to be able to walk into a room and command respect. That needs to be your why and you need to be specific about this. What is it that you want to achieve? Where do you want to be in life? What job do you want to get? It's funny, I do interviews all the time and people ask me, what's the one piece of advice you would give a guy to start dressing better? And I always say to give a damn. Seriously, if you don't care, if you don't have a deep motivation of why you're getting dressed, of why you need to look sharp, of why you need to leverage the science of style to be able to get what you want out of life, you're not going to figure it out. You're going to let obstacles and things get in your way and you're going to give up. You're going to say, you know what? I'm just going to go get smarter, which is great focusing on your education, but are you a three-wheeled Ferrari? Are you that guy out there? You've got a great education. You've got a lot of experience. You even have the enthusiasm, but what you're missing is the external presentation. And if you are that three-wheeled Ferrari going down the road 10 miles an hour, sparks flying off, what would happen if you put on that fourth tire? All of a sudden, you would go from 10 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour. And that needs to be the why. That needs to be the motivation. You need to know that, okay, I am getting dressed, not because I care about clothing, but because I care about becoming that man I know myself to be. And now let's talk about strategy. So strategy is going to be the how. You've got your motivations. You've got your why. Now you want to think, okay, how am I going to use this? How am I going to send the message I want to send? Because you need to be clear about the message. Do you want to convey trust? Do you want to convey competence? Whenever you get dressed, do you want to convey power so that people will follow you? So you're going to look like a leader. So people won't be questioning you right out the gate. They're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. That is the strategy because sometimes you want to dress to be very approachable. You want to address so that woman is going to want to touch you. She's going to want to get close. She's going to be curious. Who is this high status man that just walked in the bar? Who is this guy? You've got to understand again, what is your strategy to the style and the message you want to send? To figure out your strategy, I highly recommend that you look for inspiration. You find a style icon, somebody that you like his style. Maybe it's George Clooney. Maybe it's Ryan Gosling. Maybe it's Idris Elba. Whoever it may be, find someone who you just like their style. Maybe you share some of their colors, complexions, and you feel, you know what? What looks good on this guy would look great on me. In the same way, you want to look back to your past. Look at guys like Cary Grant. Be inspired by Fred Astaire. Look at the way that these guys were able to dress really sharp sharp at an older age, at a younger age, the way that they were able, you know, Tyrone Powers, no one talks about this guy, but he had really dark hair, light colored skin. 
And he's one of those style icons from the 1920s and 30s that, yeah, when you look at the way that this guy was able to wear clothing and what he was able to convey in that, I mean, guys, learn from your past. Now, if you're serious about improving your style, I highly recommend you go over to my website, realmenrealstyle.com and grab my free eBooks where I talk about how to walk into a room and command confidence, how to be more attractive by leveraging your clothing, how to understand the science of style, how to dress for your body type. I've got tons tons of free eBooks, although I do rotate them and I do update them. So, if it's been a while since you've grabbed those eBooks, you probably want to grab the latest editions, which I have over at my website. I will link to it down in the description. Another important part about the style strategy is understanding your limitations. And this is good because if you didn't have limitations, well, you could be overwhelmed by choice, but most of us have a big limitation, which is our budget. So, you've got to say, okay, I've got this much to spend. So, I can't go out there and just buy everything. I've got to look at particular brands. I've got to maybe only start off with a few pieces. There's also the budget of time. How much time do you have to put this wardrobe together? Is it something you got a big date here in a week or you've got an interview here in a couple days? And let's look at education. Now, there's tons of information out there, but all of us do have a limited amount that we know about this stuff. I will tell you, the more that you invest in your education, the more that you're going to be able to and quickly be able to make decisions and you're also going to save a lot of money because you'll know what you're going after. And with the strategy, you also need to take in your professional needs. If you're a master electrician down in Texas, if you're a lawyer over in New York City, if you're a consultant out in California, really it comes down to, okay, what do I need for my day-to-day -day work? Am I doing a lot of video calls? Is it something I'm going to be going out and seeing clients or they're going to be seeing me? And what do I need to convey? If you're in real estate, you need to be thinking about your vehicle. That is an extension of your style. Then your personal wants, your personal needs. And there is a difference because your personal wants, this is the style that you want to bring to it. Your own, hey, I'm a big rockabilly fan or I'm more into casual style. Antonio, yeah, you talk about suits and sports jackets, but me, I'm more of a really laid back. I want to be able to bring in a wire bear. I want to bring in, you know, my own ethnic type of style. And of course, don't forget your environmental needs. Again, you're down in South Florida or if you're up in Northern Washington, you've got very different weather and you need to pay attention to the items you're bringing into your wardrobe. All right, so you've got your style motivation you've got your style strategy. Now, it's time for the style tactics. And the best part about this is now it's easy because if you started with the tactics, there's an unlimited number of choices of different styles and images and things that you could project with your clothing. But here's the thing. Now that you know your motivation, now that you know your strategy, the choices have been narrowed down for you and it's only what you want. It's like walking into a store and instead of seeing a thousand pieces of clothing, you only see the 20 to 25 pieces of clothing that all fit you, that look good. Everything there you actually love and you're like, wow, all the choices are great. I don't have to deal with the headache, the complexity of wading through all that other crap. And that's exactly what happens whenever you nail the first two. You go into those tactics and you realize, you know what? It doesn't matter if there are a hundred and some odd ways to tie a necktie. Since I don't wear neckties and I don't need them to project the image I want to project, I can pretty much ignore neckties. Or you realize that, hey, I'm a consultant and I want to send that signal of trust. And a necktie is still one of those things that when people see a guy in a tie, they think that this guy, he, yeah, he's there for business. You understand the power of stripes in suits or you realize, you know what? I don't need to wear a suit. A suit isn't for me. It's not going to project the image I want of being just simply a laid back regular guy that, you know, a people person because you want to better connect with the people on your team. You're a small business owner and you're in the construction industry or you're in the, I, I don't know what is going to work for you, but guess what? If you've done those first two steps, then all of a sudden, and the tactics, the actual taking action, buying the clothing, practice wearing the clothing and seeing what works for you becomes so much easier. And this is the point, gentlemen, when you start to practice dressing the part. You practice wearing the clothing and you see how it has an effect. You're basically testing things. You practice wearing it, you see how it has an effect and you adjust. And eventually, you develop your own uniform. A uniform is simply default clothing that we wear that sends the message we want to send and is something we don't have to think about. Because when you've got that big meeting, you've got that big presentation, you don't want to spend an hour getting ready in the morning. No, you wake up and you had your clothing laid out. You knew that, hey, this simply, I I look great 
in this, it's always gotten positive reactions from the fragrance that you wear or to, you know, the way that you shave because you got a great shaving routine to the clothing you're putting on your body. Everything is something that is familiar. A lot of guys think that, oh, dress clothing is uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable. It simply is something you're unfamiliar with. But be when you become familiar with it, it becomes secondhand. It's like the first time you go to the gym, you feel out of place. You don't even know where the weights are at. You don't know how to use the equipment. But the hundredth time you've gone to that gym, I mean, you know this place and it feels like a second home and it feels weird when you do not go to the gym. The same thing once you develop your style, once you develop your image, once you found your signature scent, you know the way that you do things, you start to trust it and you know that it sends that message that you want to to the world. So what video to watch next? Check out this one guys, my 10 style commandments. I was really proud of this video. I went really deep on it and if you enjoyed this one, you are absolutely going to love this video right here.